this video, you're going to learn to prepare alkanes by Cobb's electrolysis. It's named after Hermann Cobb, who proposed this method for the first time. Now let's start Cobb's electrolytic method. It's a decarboxylative dimerization of two carboxylic acids. Decarboxylative means there is a removal of a carbon dioxide molecule. Electrolysis of concentrated solution of sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acid produces alkanes. Now let's see what electrolysis is. It's a process by which electric current is passed through an electrolyte to produce a chemical change. An electrolyte is a substance that dissociates into its respective ions whenever in a solution form or in the molten form, and it can conduct electricity. Now let's see the diagrammatic representation of electrolysis. Students, these are the anions, negatively charged particles, and these are the cations, positively charged. You can remember this by this letter N. N means negatively charged particles. So anions negatively charged particles and cations positively charged particles. Now students, I keep on repeating the fact that opposite attracts. So anions, they are attracted towards the positive electrode, which is the anode, and cations, they are attracted towards the negative electrode, which is the cathode. Oxidation occurs at anode, that is the loss of electron, and reduction occurs at cathode, that is the gain of electron. Now students, oxidation state is the total number of electrons that an atom either gains or loses in order to form a chemical bond with another atom. So whenever there is a loss of electron, what happens is the oxidation state increases because it becomes more positive. So we say oxidation has taken place. And whenever there is a gain of electron, the oxidation state reduces or decreases, means it becomes more negative. So we say reduction has taken place. So oxidation loss of electron and reduction gain of electron. Now let's see the total reaction of Cobb's electrolytic method. Now, these are two molecules of potassium salt of carboxylic acid and two water molecules. Electrolysis occurs. What happens is alkane molecule is formed, potassium hydroxide is formed, hydrogen gas is liberated, and carbon dioxide gas is liberated. So, alkane is formed. Now, let's see the mechanism of this reaction. Students, the reaction mechanism is a two stage radical process. Electrochemical decarboxylation gives a radical intermediate, and then two such intermediates combine to form a covalent bond. Firstly, there is the ionization of salt. Now you can see here, this is the potassium salt of carboxylic acid and it is dissociated into its respective ions. This is the acetate ion and this is the potassium ion. And potassium, it is the alkali metal, so it has a positive charge. Now at anode, what happens is that the acetate ion migrate towards anode because obviously it is negative ion and it will move towards the positive electrode. It gives up two electrons and form two acetate radicals. And these radicals you can see one electron jumps from here and one electron from this bond jumps from here and makes a double bond and what happens is the carbon dioxide molecule is eliminated as you can see here now one bond is left behind it jumps on the methyl group or alkyl group any other alkyl group but in this case methyl group and forms two methyl radicals students a free radical it's an atom, molecule, or ion that has an unpaired valence electron. Radicals are highly chemically reactive towards other substances or even towards themselves. So they can dimerize or polymerize if they come in contact with each other. And these are produced in a number of ways like heat, electrolysis, or in a chemical reaction. Like in this case, electrolysis produces free radicals. Now what happens is two radicals they combine together and form a bond and form the alkane molecule. So in this way, alkane is produced by Cobb's electrolytic method. Now at cathode, positively charged ions will move like water. It has positively charged hydrogen and hydroxide. Obviously, it will, it will dissociate into positively charged hydrogen and hydroxide ions. What happens is that hydrogen, that is protons, two protons, will take two electrons and form hydrogen gas and it will be liberated and two hydroxide ions they will remain in the solution and these hydroxide ions take up these potassium ions as they were in the solution and combine together to form potassium hydroxide molecule so this is a byproduct produced in the Cobb's electrolytic method i hope this video was helpful if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe Thanks for watching. Wish you all the best.